Hey guys, so as you guys can see, I'm doing a fall makeup look today and I decided to do something with a really bold lip because I have a few tips for you guys on how to A, apply a bold lip and also how to kind of style it and feel confident in it because I feel like sometimes a bold lip can feel a little bit hard to pull off, but I have some tips for you guys that will really help you guys out. So we are going to go ahead and do that in this video. So as you guys can see, I just started out with a moisturizer. It is the Yes to Blueberries moisturizer and it is amazing. I love it. And then on top of that, I did the Smashbox Petal Metal Shimmer Spray, which is a really nice like shimmery base. And I just like it because it kind of gives you like a nice illuminated look to your skin. And then I went in with the Catrice Cosmetics HD Liquid Coverage Foundation over the top of that. And I've been loving this foundation lately. Um, I'm doing a shimmer eye in this look. So I really wanted to go matte with the foundation just to kind of like balance everything out. So I just blended that out with a beauty blender. And then I went in with my Cushion Wonder Color Corrector Concealer by Hard Candy. And this is my favorite concealer ever. <laughs> and if you haven't tried it yet, you guys, you have to. And I think I found my holy grail. Like I don't see myself switching from this concealer like anytime soon. So I'm just blending that under my eyes and on my nose and also my eyelids. So then I'm just gonna take my NYX Mineral Matte Finishing Powder. I'm gonna buff that into my skin just to mattify everything even more. And I love this stuff, it's amazing. It's kind of been my go-to powder lately. And then once I have that applied, I'm gonna actually go into the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. And this is kind of like a summer themed bronzer, but I actually really, really like it for the upcoming fall and winter because it's a lighter shade for a bronzer. And so I feel like it looks really, really good on lighter skin. So when you are feeling a little bit pale, this will actually work really, really well because it's not too dark for lighter skin. So that's what I really like about this. And plus it also kind of reminds you of summer because it has like a nice coconutty smell to it. So I just put that in like the basic contour areas and yeah, I just like it. And then the Urban Decay Back Chalk Palette, I'm actually going into this pinkish kind of I don't know, would you consider that coral? It's kind of corally, I guess. Um, but I'm putting that onto my cheeks and my apples of my cheeks. I've been really liking applying my like blush to the apples of my cheeks lately. And then I'm gonna be taking this beautiful highlighter by Smashbox, and I'm actually applying that to the cheekbones and then also like right above my eyebrow. And I really like this color as well because it has a little bit of a pink undertone to it. And I'm kind of going with like a pinky plum theme for this makeup look, just to kind of tie everything together. And then my little trick that I've been doing lately is taking my favorite, favorite highlighter, which is the Glow Goals by Nikki Tutorials. And I do a little bit right there under my eyes like the apples of my cheeks and it looks really really pretty right there because it's so like pigmented and strong so there you saw I did my eyebrows off camera didn't want to bore you guys and then I'm taking this palette by Bare Minerals and I love this palette it's beautiful it's the rose eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this really pretty like rose gold color and putting it on my lids and I'm just using my finger because I feel like if you want a lot of pigment you use your finger and you get a really nice like even coverage over your eyes and then I'm taking this kind of gray brown and I'm putting that in the crease now as you guys saw I applied the shimmer eyeshadow first and the reason I did that is because I kind of wanted an overall glow to my eyes and sometimes I feel like if you apply the shimmer first it kind of like blends into the rest of your look and it can kind of give your overall eye look a nice glow so that's kind of my little trick and I do that occasionally if I do want to kind of play around with shimmer and I kind of feel like shimmer eyeshadows are really coming back in style kind of like that overall shimmer look so I kind of wanted to play around with that trend as well and then I also applied that under my lash line on the bottom All right guys, now I'm going into this dark brown gray color and I'm just going to blend that out really softly on that top lash line to make it look like a little, a little bit of like smudgy eyeliner, I guess. And then I'm gonna go in with a kind of coal black liner and I'm gonna put that in the water line and the tight line and I'm actually keeping this look very simple for eyeliner and you guys know me, I've always been a very, very strong eyeliner girl, but I've kind of been in this phase of really liking to keep my eyeliner lighter. And I think it has to do with my eyelashes, you guys. I've been using the Rodin and Fields Lash Boosting Serum. I bought it from my friend and it's a game changer. Like if you've always been insecure about your eyelashes, just spend the money, 
grow your lashes out super long and you'll be so much happier. Like I feel like I don't have to worry about my eyelashes as much. I don't have to wear as much eyeliner and I'm just far more happier with my eyelashes now that I have grown them out really long. So I just apply my Thrive Cosmetics mascara on my eyes and then I am pretty much done with the eyes. All right, you guys, so now for the bold, dark lip. So I usually take a oil of some sort and then a washcloth, and I just rub my lips like this just to exfoliate any of the dead skin cells off. I feel like this is like the lazy girl's version of exfoliating, <laughs> like I don't use a scrub or anything like that, but I feel like it works really well. And then I take a powder and I powder my lips. And the reason I do this is because if you have any oil left over on your lips, your lip color will not apply evenly so you want to make sure your lips are very dry that's why I powder them and then I just take a lip liner and I line my lips and I usually outline a little bit outside of my lips right in the center on the top and bottom and then I apply my first coat of my liquid lipstick now the first coat is not going to be very like perfect meaning it's going to be maybe a little bit patchy but that is okay because you don't need it to be perfect it's just the first layer so you're going to apply it and then you're going to let it dry while mine dried i just curled my lashes one more time and then after that i just blotted it on a you could use a tissue or i just use the same wash rag and that's going to get any of the extra you know lip color off that didn't quite dry then you want to go in again with the same color now this is my biggest tip of all you guys biggest tip you want to stipple so you want to kind of like tap your wand on your lips as if you're like tapping a beauty blender and that tapping motion is going to make your lips absolutely flawless perfect like no patchiness the color is going to be even and it just looks so good and i'm telling you guys it's like the best secret like look at how flawless my lips look i love it so also, I wanted to mention what I wear when I wear lips this color, like this dark. You always wanna go with a lighter shade. Like I like to wear maybe like a tan sweater or a white sweater or even like a light blush pink sweater and you're gonna feel a little bit less witchy and dark and I feel like it really balances out that really dark lip. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I hope you guys got some fun information and let me know if you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.